Hey there, John Morris here, and in this video we're going to talk about operators. And we have a couple different types of operators. You have assignment operators, arithmetic operators, comparison operators, string operators, and then you have some combination uh, between arithmetic and assignment operators. So we're going to talk about each one of those. So let's start off with the simplest one, which is assignment operators, and it's something that you've already seen us doing. And assignment operators allow you to assign a certain value to a variable. So this equal sign right here is an assignment operator. Uh, and it really gets as simple as that. It's just assigning this value to this variable. Okay, so um, you'll be using that quite a bit. There's not really a whole lot more to it. Um, the only other assignment operator that you may mess that you will will use a lot probably is um, the array for setting up key value pairs. Okay, so uh, you may have an array that looks something like this, and you're going to have key value pairs in here. So you know you may have key one and you're going to use this assignment operator for arrays okay so you're going to use an equal sign and then a greater than sign so and you may have value one just like this okay so um, this assignment operator is another one that you would use and you're going to use that when you're working with arrays all right so that's assignment operators pretty simple now let's go into arithmetic operators so um, with arithmetic you may say age equals two plus four okay this plus sign is an arithmetic operator and it's going to allow you to add those together of course then you could have subtraction um, you could have multiplication you could have division and of course you could have a, a percentage so two percent of uh, like for example four or whatever all right so that's an uh, example of arithmetic operators again that's pretty standard if you're using the computer with arithmetic that's pretty much the exact same uh, operators that you're going to use when you when you do that uh, so um, that's uh, again pretty simple uh, the next type of operators are comparison operators and comparison operators are something we're using with our uh, if-else statements here and so first off you have uh, what's called equals so if age equals rage then that uh, is going to evaluate to true so you use double equals for if you want to check to see if something equals okay it's different from the assignment operator that's why you have to use the double equals now the next one you could use is called a triple equals okay so let's go and change this to age to uh, 18 all right so if age uh, is identical to and I'm gonna explain to you what that means here just in a second so let's refresh this it's gonna say yes you're in right because um, 18 does equal 18 and and this is going to be the important part when it comes to the difference between equals which is two parentheses or two equal signs and identical which is three identical means that they have the same data type so if you remember when we talked about data types you have strings you have integers you have arrays etc etc this is going to check to see if the data type matches as well. So if we change the age to a string like this, and we come back over and we refresh, you'll notice that nothing shows up. And that's because this does not evaluate to true, okay? Because they're not identical. They don't have the same data type. If we change this back to equals, and we come over here, you'll notice that it evaluates to true because it's not checking the data type okay so that's the difference between equals and identical all right all right now of course we have um, if it uh, does not equal which is the uh, explanation point with the equal sign so if it doesn't equal that then we're going to refresh and you'll see it goes away because 18 and 18 do equal one another um, and then of course if you put a double 
uh, equal sign here, if they're not the same data type, then it's going to evaluate to true. Okay. So uh, again, that's the uh, checking the data type. Um, you also have another way that you can do not equal, which is like this. And if we save that. You'll see that it goes away because it evaluates to true. Okay. So um, and then you have less than and greater than. So you can do if age is less than rage, which uh, should evaluate to false because it's the exact same thing. So we're not, again, we're not getting anything. If it's greater than, again, should evaluate to false because it's identical. So it's not going to evaluate to true on either one of those. Um, and then you have less than or greater than or equal to like this, which should, should then evaluate to true. So yes, now we're in. And even less than or equal to will evaluate to true as well because it's still equal to. And of course we get that as true. Okay, so some those are some of the comparison operators. In fact, those are pretty much all the comparison operators um, that you can use when you're comparing things. So um, pretty, pretty straightforward there as well. Um, some of the other operators, you have a string operators. The most uh, notable one is you're gonna have um, be using to constantate a string and that's gonna be the period. And we've kind of looked at this a little bit but we can contentate this um, and let's say and we want to add in and tell them what their age is so we would let's change this to strict and we'll contentate using the the period and we'll put in their age and then we'll put in a period and we'll change this okay so this is a string operator this contentation right here it allows you to add in a variable into uh, this echo statement here okay now it says yes you're in because you are 18 okay and that's the age they are or we could put rage because that's the required age Let's add a space here. And yes, you're in because you are 18. So that's a, a string operator. Um, that's the most common one that you're going to use. Next, you may have um, a kind of combination of uh, uh, assignment operators and um, arithmetic operators. So let's say we have age, and then we do... <clears throat> We do age and we do plus plus. Okay. And let's just come down and let's just echo this out. So we'll just echo age now. If we come back to our site, you notice that now it has it as a 19. Okay. So you can use uh, something like this this uh, combination to to um, increase or increment the number that you have here okay another way of doing this would be uh, something like this okay so we come back over here and we get the same thing. Now you could come and you could change this to say three. And you get 21. Okay, so that's a way of, of, of assigning it. And really what this is like doing is it's like saying, um, it's like it's shorthand for writing this, okay? Cause this will give us the exact same output okay but you can do it shorthand by just doing the plus equals like this ok 
Okay, so it's a quick way of, of doing that. And then if you only want to do it one, you don't even have to go that far. If you're only wanting to increment it one, you can just do plus plus. Okay, and that'll give you an increment of one and take you up to 19. Of course, you can do the same, subtract, minus, et cetera, et cetera. So um, those are some combination um, uh, arithmetic and assignment functions. And, you know, you may say, okay, well, when am I going to use that? Well, um, you may have an instance where you want to count the number of records that are returned from an array and, and output that from a, a MySQL database query. So um, you would use a counter like this, and for each time it looped through each database record, you would have a certain variable increment. And maybe then you'd even go so far as to you'd have um, the loop that is looping through based off a of criteria where you only want the the latest 10 records. So once that counter hit 10, you would have it it kill uh, the loop and or end the loop and not loop through any more records. So you'd only get the latest 10 records from the database, something like that. Um, that may be where you use something like that. And as we go forward, we'll we'll get into some of that a little bit more. Um, so those are operators. You're going to use those quite a bit. You're going to use this assignment operator pretty much all the time. Um, you may use some arithmetic operators. You'll definitely use comparison operators all the time. Um, but that's a little more in-depth with how operators work and how you can use them. So hopefully that's helpful for you, and I'll talk to you again soon.